All right, I'm here with the Miss Alamorada. Uh, we laid it back for a couple of days because of the wind, so this is our first day out. Got Captain Walter up at the helm. What are we looking at today, Captain Walter? I can't believe this many people showed up on a rough day. But I'll tell you what, I told them all to eat oatmeal and tuna fish. That way when they throw up, we'll catch a lot more fish. We'll leave you a report later. All right, we'll be here dockside at four o'clock to see you. You guys have a great day. There you go. All right, so it looks like uh, we've got a full day out. Some strong southerly winds. Miss Alamorada. Expecting the winds to come down here at Bud and Mary's. A couple of boats are still in. Expecting the conditions to come down and have a very beautiful week of fishing here in the Alamorada area. And uh, plenty of boats to fish on. Come see us at Bud and Mary's. Having a good time here. That's fine. How are y'all doing this morning? Um, right now, what I'm getting ready to do is uh, take some pinfish traps out. We're going to go get some good fresh bait for fishing for the week. Hopefully, this uh, hopefully this wind lays down. Um, one thing I like to do is uh, make sure my rope is going to be long enough for the depth that the trap's going to be in. Uh, usually, all these traps come with a generic rope about three or four feet long. Uh, so I'm going to be dropping these about six feet of water, so add an extra good three or four feet of room for that. Drop a block of chum in there. Find a good grassy flat with some potholes in there. Drop in a pothole. Hopefully we get loaded up and get some good fresh bait. Awesome. We've got all kinds of fishing and activities here at Bud and Mary's. I'm here with Sarah Stanzik and what are you going to be going and doing today, Sarah? Today we went crabbing. Deadliest catch. Deadliest catch. Deadliest catch. I'll show you what we got. Let's see. I took customers out crabbing rather. But... So you run a uh, stone crab charters? Yes. I took people out for a charter but we got 38 wow. crab balls today so i kept some for myself and they took the rest but they were very happy and it was fun it's dirty messy crab trap pulling we got to break the claws off it's fun so if somebody wants to uh, do the same thing they can just call over here bud and mary's and uh yep. ask for you that's right captain sarah stanzik yep all right there you go thanks for talking with us captain thank you <laughs> Talking to the mates on the charter boats, the customers. Hi guys, my name's Deborah. I'm here at Bud and Mary's Marina and I'm with Captain Max Gaffney. Howdy Deborah. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's, it's a nice day. Good day in the wind. Good. It is a windy day here on the island. What did you catch today while you were out? We caught I think we caught ten species of fish. We caught a bunch of ladyfish. We were looking for some sharks. We caught black tips and a nice lemon. Uh, we caught a pompano. Got a whole bunch of mangrove snappers, some lane snappers, blue runners, jacks, uh, a smorgasbord. So much you had variety. a busy day today. Yeah, we definitely had a busy, nice half day. Didn't go very far at all. Five minute round at most. Nice. So now these guys are gonna, yeah, you're they, gonna clean yeah. some snappers and yep. then they're gonna take them over to a restaurant next door and uh, we're gonna have a catching cook. Exactly. All right. Well, dinner and a you. show. We got sharks for a show. Dinner and, dinner and a dinner. show. Turn 
in before he, look at it, look at the thump in that fish. That ain't no ray. He hit that thing. He's making mud. Good. I got you, baby. That ain't no ray. That ain't a ray. That's a big permit. Kicking up out there in the dirt. <laughs> you know, big thing he did with his tail? Yeah, if it was a shark, it'd be. Yeah, it might be the permit. You want me to clear something? He's rubbing his face. He's rubbing his face. He rubbed his face. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw the one oh. this way. Bean, you had the one there. Tell us what was going on. So, he got all the way up to that really shallow water where it's really hard bottom. And right before I just lost him, I was just saying, he's rubbing his face, he's rubbing his face. He rubbed it right off, man. He rubbed it right off on this tiny leader. Look what he did. Look what he did. Shot the bead up. Look at that. I saw him splash it. We're out of power here. No, you're not. It's still recording. Okay. Oh, I got you. Okay. So, what happened was, like right before it popped, I was saying to all of you, I was saying, he's rubbing his face, he's rubbing his face, he's rubbing his face against the ground. And as soon as I was saying that, he popped right off. Wow. Permit. Richard, what can an angler do in a situation like that? Don't lose the fish. Don't lose the fish. Keep the rods up as high as possible. All right. Did the best you could. Good. Bone fishing. Good job. Get a go. Hey guys and girls, Captain Rick Stanzik here. We're here, uh, Bud Mary's. It is the coldest day of the year. Um, and I'm not saying that just because it's uh, January. It's actually the coldest day we've probably had in uh, several years. Uh, weather said it got down to 45 degrees last night on the forecast. I'm not sure what it actually got to, but it's pretty dang cold. Um, as you can see, not many people fishing. Um, Fishing could be good. I mean, offshore, backcountry, probably be a little slow to start, but this afternoon it could get good. Um, one thing I can definitely tell you though, this will lead to some great fishing back there. Um, you know, not right away, because the fish are kind of probably in shock, you know, uh, up until just a couple days ago. I mean, that water was 75 degrees, 76 degrees, and it's probably, uh, you know, 55 degrees or something back there now when you have those sharp, dramatic declines you know those fish go into shock but once they adjust and it warms up a hair then they're gonna go crazy because they haven't eaten for a few days so it's gonna happen um, you know might be uh, another day or two but yeah when we get a calm day and the wind lays down and that temperature starts to slowly rise that water gets nice and clean because it's cooled off and all the mud drops out it's gonna be good uh, mark my words so Anyways, be ready for some good fishing. Um, for now, we're just gonna be bundled up. Good day to kind of be here at home and uh, just relax. All right, see ya. Everybody's in. He doesn't count, he's doing boat work. But yeah, cold, chilly day out there. Good day to be at home drinking a warm cup of coffee in the morning. Hey guys, it's Barry at Bud and Mary's and uh, got some rain come over after a day of fishing. So everybody takes a break in the rain, including a Goliath grouper hanging out here. Oh boy. And boom. So we got a good, uh, good couple hundred pounder here hanging out behind the Gone Fishing Five. And these Goliath groupers will draw crowds. Hey! hey. <laughs> That's what we got going on this afternoon at Bud and Mary's. Goliath grouper behind the Gone Fishing Five. See you later. sunrise at Bud and Mary's. I'm on board the Catch-22 with Captain Scott Stanzik, the doctor, and we're going sail fishing. We've got a front coming in.
So we're on board with the greatest uh, sail fisherman in Isla Mirada, Captain Scott Stanley. Get off the bow. And we're gonna get, get off the bow, and we're gonna get ready to run. And uh, you looking for a good bite out there today, Captain? Get off the bow. Yes, sir. See what I got going on. See you later. Tastes good. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. When she's all in the it stomached out. Oh, it stomached out? Yeah. Yeah, the whole stomach came out. We caught, we caught four before like what, 12.30? Yeah, we're, we're cleaning up there.